started with the theory of putting, or a mathematical solution to putting, we want to establish the fact that the golf swing is a circle. Uh, we want the ball to go straight, in a straight line, but the golf club itself swings in a circle. That's the main point of this whole discussion. And that could be shown here. If we wanted this ball to go straight, you may think that the golf club goes in a straight line with the ball, but that's not the case. If we swing, we swing the club on a circular arc and it hits the ball and the ball goes perfectly straight, but the club swings in a circle. That can be demonstrated here on this uh, periodic device if it stays straight, hit a ball on an arc, the ball goes perfectly straight. Okay, if we continue on now and look at what we have here, uh, we have a, a simulated putter swinging on that arc back and forth. And we know now that if we hit a ball at the bottom of this arc, the ball would go perfectly straight. Remember, our whole theory is that if you swing a golf club on a circle and hit the ball at the bottom or tangent to the bottom of that arc, the ball will go perfectly straight. So if we put a laser on this club, notice that if I swing the putter, that the laser, even though the club is swinging on a circle, the laser follows the line of the putt. That can be shown better with our golf machine here. I don't know if the camera can pick up that laser or not, but this is a perfect arc. The club is swinging on that perfect arc. And if all is set up right, you know, hitting a ball should make the uh, should make the ball go perfectly straight, and if we're lined up with the hole, we go right in the hole every time. So, here is our solution to putting. Okay, we know that the machine can create and keep a perfect arc perfect arc and the laser follows a perfect straight line and the ball goes in the hole every time. But practically speaking, how do we get that? How do we become this machine is basically what we want to do. How can we become this? Well, you can start by taking just a laser pointer and uh, tape it to your club, a standard uh, teacher uh, laser pointer that you use in the classroom. And I have it turned on right now. And it's lined up with the center of my uh, line on my putter. And I can, I'll use the edge of this ruler. And you take your stance. And then uh, you'll practice your stroke. So you can keep that on that line. That you make that arc just like the machine makes. What we're trying to do, the whole goal of this, is to make that perfect arc. And you can practice. Just go on a straight line. Get in your stance and practice that and make that perfect arc right on the line. I'm going on the edge of this uh, ruler. If I go in the middle, it doesn't show up as well. So we can practice, 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 and you should be able to become very, very close to this machine and make every single putt. Okay, so far we've established that to make a putt or become a perfect putter like this machine, we simply swing the putter on an arc, keep a good solid base, swing on a perfect arc, and if we measured that with a laser, the laser would follow the line of the putt on a perfectly straight level putt. We've also established that to practice this, we can put a laser on our putter and get a line on the floor and practice what this machine is doing. However, the key, the most fundamental key to making this theory work 
is the stance. In order to become this machine, you have to stand or make a stance that mimics this. Uh, we'll show that in detail in just a second, but right now I'd just like to demonstrate it. Basically, uh, and I'll we'll go on this line here. You stand straight up and tall, hold the, put your arms by your side, like alligator arms, and the putter is sitting like this. Then kick your butt out and just bend down to where your line is. And you'll see your, you've got a good solid base here, similar to that machine. Here is the key right here. All the muscles are stretched. Your, your uh, behind is out and back and doesn't move during the stroke. And you come down, you have the alligator arms here, not out here, but in tight. Come down and then you can make your stroke. The one key here is that in a golf swing, the downswing is started by this front leg. So when I go back, when I go back on the backswing, what's bringing this forward is a, is a little action like that. It's not the upper body. The upper body is pulled by the legs. So once you're in this stance, Make a little backswing and just pull it through with the lower body. You'll keep it perfectly online. All right, back away, Rich. Salute the gentleman. Alligator arms. Now get the, here in this bud. This is where I got a little hurried to put the club in your oh, arms okay. here. Right there. Okay. Now you, your elbows are connected. Your club's at a right angle. Now close your car door. Let your chest go on down and your club go with it. More, 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 more. Oh, great. Hey, Michelle Wee, Paula Kramer. See the shaft's at a right angle to your spine. It's, for, it's right in alignment with your forearms. Your eyes are over the ball. Your knees are slightly flexed. When you're, you've closed the car door, your shoulders are out front, allowing you to do the pendulum underneath. Your balance is on your core. Good job. We now like to put this into practice on the putting green. Obviously, this is a practice mat, but we'll I'll explain everything as if we're on the course on a practice putting green. Uh, first thing you'd like to do is get in your stance uh, close to the hole. I like to have two putters, one with a laser on it, one without. You could have one, keep your laser on your putter. Go here, get in your stance, make your stroke, and guarantee that, that, that your stroke is accurate, and you're going right to the hole each time. I go slower so the camera can catch it. It's too slow. But just you're making sure you got that stroke going. Now, on this putting mat, we have a white line. On the course, there is no line, but you can go to the hardware store and get yourself a chalk line. Use the blue colored chalk, the kind that uh, washes away very easily. Don't use red. Uh, and this would be blue chalk. You shake it, go to the back of the hole, use a T. Take a T and push it in the ground, then pull this back. Pull this back to whatever distance you want, and then snap your blue chalk line. And that is what you would practice on as if, just as if I'm using this white one here. You'd have a blue chalk line. You could practice your stroke if you wanted. You could go as far back as you want. Once you have that going properly, it's just a matter of making putts. Because we, we guarantee that this will, on a perfectly level, uh, straight putt using this technique, Statistically, your putting average will go through the roof. So, here I'm about six feet, get my stance, alligator arms, behind out, back straight, make your back swing. Everyone goes in, every time. This is so accurate, it actually gets boring. But this would be the practice of this 
putting mathematical putting solution that we're giving to you. And it does work. Thank you very much.